Have you ever found yourself in your business and you're just not having fun and you're thinking, why am I doing this? I thought this was supposed to be fun. I thought I was supposed to find joy in my business and it's not working out that way. I had that happen to me. I had spent six uh, months building a business and I wasn't enjoying it. I thought it was the right thing. I had picked something that I had done in my corporate career. So I was able to turn around and teach that to others. And I, you know, created what I thought was exactly what I was looking for, but I found that I was just miserable. And I thought, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> Why am I gonna build a business that I'm not having fun? And here's what I realized, is if we do not align to our values, then we are not gonna be happy. Everybody has values, whether you know what they are or you don't know what they are, you have values. And your happiness and your joy are usually pretty tightly aligned to those values. Because if you get out of sync with the value, you won't feel good. And that's what was happening to me. If you're right in sync with what you're doing with your values, then everything's good. So let me give you an example. This is the easiest one for me. So one of my huge values is freedom. I love to do what I wanna do when I wanna do it and how I wanna do it. I don't really like anyone telling me what to do. Well, I spent 30 years in corporate and I hated it. I was miserable. I did not wanna be in it. I, it just was not my thing. And I never really understood why I had such a problem with it. Well, it came down to, with my value being freedom, I was in a situation where I had to be there at a certain time, could only take lunch at a certain time, had to work so many hours a week, could only have so much vacation, all these different restrictions that get put on us when we become an employee. Well, for me, that made no sense. Now, I didn't realize that because back then I hadn't really thought about values. I wasn't really kind of looking at that and you know, I hadn't set goals and all that kind of stuff. It wasn't until I became an entrepreneur that I started to really look at some of this stuff. So I would encourage you to sit down and values are things like, you know, for me, freedom is a big one. Family is a big one. Faith, fun, finances. Those are all big values for me. So when I'm doing something, it has to align to that. If I'm, you know, building a business, but I'm having no time to spend with my family, that's probably not going to work. So think about what your top three to five values are, maybe even go 10 and then you can windle down to what your top three are. And if you go Google it, you'll find all kinds of different things. Just type up, you know, type in values and you'll find lists that'll help you come up with what your values are. And take a look at that and write down for yourself, what are your top 10? And then try to windle that down to your top three. And whenever you're gonna do something in your business, look at it and go, does this align to my value? If it does not align to your value, don't do it because you will not be happy. You have got to make sure in life that you align and same thing in your personal life and in your relationships. You know, it's the same thing. If you're in a relationship and, and things aren't working, it's probably because you have different values. So you have to make sure that you're always aligning to your values. So I hope this, you know, gave you a little bit of insight to yourself and, you know, figuring out how to have more joy and peace because I'm all about just having an internal peaceful life. Um, if you'd like more content like this, you can uh, join us in a really great group called Savvy CEO, where we talk about all sorts of things like this. Uh, so I hope you think about doing that and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Have a great day.